Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 5. Today we're going to be talking about something massive, so if you do go on to enjoy the video and you do like it, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So before we get into this, and this is the topic of the video due to the fact that, you know, what's happened with Melissa will definitely impact the show and, you know, how they shoot everything and how the time schedules work. So, we're going to talk about it, but first off, a massive, massive, massive congratulations to Melissa Benoist, who is pregnant with her first child, and Chris is the dad. This is the best thing. Yesterday, I found out the news, and I was over the moon. I'm so happy for them, and honestly, just massive congrats. As you guys know, Melissa is probably my favorite actress, and I just couldn't be more happy for her. It seems like it's going to be the best time of her life, and I'm so happy that both of them are so happy about what's going to be happening, and they're having a kid. Not to take away from anything to do with that, because it's absolutely fantastic news, and I couldn't be more happy for them, but we do have to talk about Supergirl and how this will impact the show, so you know, I think this is a linked topic in the end. So I've round up a lot of information, I've been told some stuff that a lot of people seem to not know about, and I'm going to relay it to you guys in this video and I'm going to explain everything. I've got a lot of notes, I've got a lot of stuff to talk about, so the first big question and the big question we're going to be answering today, how does this impact Supergirl? How does this impact the show? So for this we have to go back to the announcement that Supergirl is finishing filming in under two weeks from today, so it's March 5th, I believe it's definitely in the next week or so that they're going to be finishing, and everyone was kind of shocked by this, they were like, why is this happening? Well, this completely explains it. So they're finishing this season, they're shortening the season, and they've definitely had plans to do this for a long while, by the way, since back in probably like December, I would hazard the guess. So yeah, they're filming, they're wrapping up really kind of early compared to normal. They normally wrap up about a month later, and so the season seemingly has been shortened, and this is to accommodate for Melissa's pregnancy. So basically filming for the next season, for season 6, starts in mid-April. So that is the sort of exclusive news. Yes, there has been sort of the rumour mill going around that, you know, it's going to start sometime in April, but no one really believed it. But I have been told via some sources that, yes, filming is going to start for season 6 in mid-April, and presumably there will be less episodes this season as well, because I would hazard the guess that in season 6 it will be between like 18 and 20 episodes, as they want to film as much as they can before Melissa's actually due. And if they, you know, continue filming and then they got to the point where they normally return to do filming in like late June or early July, that would halt the whole production because Melissa wouldn't be able to work, she would have just had the baby, and I'll tell you about what time we're roughly expecting her to have the baby because I think it's definitely within the context of like Supergirl's filming and I don't think it's too intrusive. I think it's, you know, necessary when we're talking about like the production schedule of Supergirl next season and this season. So yeah, the whole production would be halted if they just did their normal schedule. So they've been aware of this for a while now. So that's what I'm guessing. It goes back to like December or something like that. Also, David posted a photo back from December in this Instagram post, again hinting that maybe Melissa has actually been pregnant since about December. And so filming is due to actually only return in November. So they will film from April to June for about five episodes worth of footage as far as I've been told. Then they're going to have a big hiatus from June till November where Melissa's going to have her sort of short maternity leave. And due to this, obviously you have some impacts, like I don't think she's going to be in the next crossover that much due to, you know, her just returning around November time. And so Supergirl will return normal time-ish, sort of with the five episodes that they've shot before or so, around the second week in October like they normally do. So the schedule will be exactly the same, the release schedule will be normal. However, obviously their shooting schedule is going to be different because they're filming earlier and then they're having a big break and they'll return in November. So by the time Melissa is off maternity leave, they will have a few episodes in the can before they start filming again around November time as far as I've been told. And so just quickly moving on, but just going back and detailing the points of information that are really key. They're finishing shooting this season in the next few weeks, then they're going to start filming for the next season in mid-April to about 
mid-June, so for about a month or so, and then they're going to stop, and then they're going to return in November to film the rest of the season after Melissa has returned. So that's as far as I've been told, and the photos, if you go look at their Instagram where they announced everything, they are old, and her hair is much longer now, and so I'm fairly sure she knew back in December, and probably would hazard the guess that she's due sometime around late June, that's what I would have to say. And I just quickly wanted to mention a really big thanks to Mumro, who has been helping with me, she's a great friend online and she has been helping me sort of gather this information to put into this video you know in full context so we can prove that this stuff is all going to be happening as far as what we've been told and also David's Instagram post which goes back to some photos some set photos when they're filming around December time around like maybe late November it kind of puts it in context and we have to sort of think that yeah, she's pretty far along, and, you know, maybe she was pregnant since November, December, and also, people were recommended not to say that they're pregnant until about three months after, some could be even later than that. But also, as far as I've been told, childcare is pretty good when working in TV shows and films, because I'm pretty sure they get it for free, so I don't think her having a child is going to impact, you know, if the show's gonna go off or anything like that, because a lot of actors have kids and they all are able to do it. So I think the only limitation will be maybe a limit on her time. So maybe from now on we get shorter seasons, somewhere between 18 and 20. And also backing up the idea that they are going on this long hiatus from around mid-June. I don't know if she's going to come to Comic Con, I'm presuming she's going to come to Comic Con. Maybe Chris looks after the baby once the baby is due, presuming that, you know, around June time is when she's actually due because everything seems to be leading towards that point. But anyway, so Kyla is due to go on tour, I believe, with her husband who runs the East of Valley, really good band, and he tours a lot and so she sometimes joins in with him and apparently she's due to go on tour with her husband from around July to September. So this would back up the point that they are going on this long hiatus and that they are filming before July. And so the final thing, and this is another piece of evidence suggesting that Melissa is probably due in June, is due to the fact that she was supposed to be attending the Ultimates, which is an event I'm going to, which is an event that lots of people go to in England. It's basically like a mini comic con, but mainly for Supergirl fans. And so she was due to come and she cancelled and people were like, hmm, is she doing Broadway? Is she doing another show? Is she filming a film? Well, this makes sense why she's not here, because as far as we know, and according to Sean Harry, who runs the event, this is what he was told. So her doctor advised her that traveling at this point in her pregnancy would be a risk to her health and the life of her child. And so Mumro helped me with this. Apparently, you can't fly when you're 36 weeks pregnant or around sort of that area which is about eight months pregnant. And if you trace that back, this is going to be an event in May, towards like mid-May, where she would have actually come and appeared at this event. So with her being pregnant and with her not being able to fly, as the doctor has said to the Ultimates when they were trying to organize stuff and you know, she wasn't able to come in the end, it seems like, yeah, she's been pregnant since about December and if she can't fly, she's about eight months pregnant around May time, you would hazard the guess that she's going to be having the baby sometime very, very late June, and that is why production doesn't begin at a normal schedule, where they normally film towards the end of late June, early July, just before Comic Con, they do it for about a few weeks, and then Comic Con comes back, and then they return to filming, and that's how the schedule normally goes, but this year it's going to be different, all due to these circumstances. So guys, don't worry about anything to do with Supergirl, First off, a massive congratulations to Melissa Benoist and Chris Wood as well. It's the best news I've heard in such a long time. I'm over the moon. I'm ecstatic for them. And so hopefully you liked this video. It was just to make sure that you guys know all the context as to what's going on to do with the filming. And so yeah, that's about it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And again, send your love to Melissa and Chris. This is the best thing ever. So I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.
icy room. 